Yo, 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 what it do, my people? It's your boy, Mike. He's at the Carolina Ground. Now, back at you with another exclusive video game. And for this video right here, I want to speak on, you know, the hot trending topic, man. It's everybody's, you know, running after, trying to figure out what's been going on, trying to find some real answers, man. A lot of people's been giving us the run around. We've been having to break stuff down ourselves by going off the videos that we've been gave. So, uh, man, that's just a lot of craziness going on right now. But I want to break down a rumor, and I want to say rumor because, you know, I really don't find this to be true. Um, I ain't found no really no good hard evidence, which, you know, uh, real games is moving silence anyway. So it ain't like you'll be finding a lot of real evidence if, you know, something like this has been going on. But from what I have seen, um, I think this is just a hoax going on right now. But first off, I want to start by saying justice for takeoff, man. Justice for takeoff. And I hope, you know, uh, that that was a cool young brother. You know, he was uh, he was good. You know, he, he was a good-hearted, good-souled individual, man. You know, that took care of his family, put his family first, man. And, you know, he didn't put up with that bullshit. He was quiet up to himself, man. You know, he just stayed out of the way and got his money. And that's the type of people I like to respect. We need more people like take off in the world, man. And it's a it's a real good, it's a real it's a true saying, man. That it, I ain't going to say it's good, but it's a true saying, man. The good die young. You know what I mean? So I just wanted to start it off just by saying justice for takeoff, no matter the situation. That young brother didn't deserve to die like that, you know, especially people recording him and stuff. And, you know, some little silver stuff, like I said in the past video, that could have got worked out. But, uh, man, there's a rumor going around that people are saying they got money on. J Prince, J Prince Jr., Josh Prince, they got money on their head for this situation right here. You know, and, uh, when I first heard it, I said, you know, that's a possibility because uh, you got to think about it for a second. You got to you got to stop and you got to ask yourself is take off. You know, uh, well, first of all, let me say, let me start by saying people in Chicago and people in these in these states that has picked up this drill music and stuff. You got to understand these people are killing people for basically nothing just for a gang. They ain't getting no money out of this situation. You know what I mean? So it ain't like it's far fetched to believe that somebody can get killed just for a little bit of nothing. You know what I'm saying? So uh, there's some money and some dice games involved. And maybe, you know, we don't know really the whole situation. We waiting on that to come out, the real true facts on everything. So uh, you really don't know what to believe and stuff until the real hard true facts come out. And that's why I like to keep it. You know, I really don't like to jump to too many conclusions. But if a video or something is out there, you know, I don't have no problem with trying to break it down and trying to get the most information out of it as possible. But from everything I found, man, they saying they put money on his head. And like I said, when I first seen it, I said that's plausible. It's possible that could be true because for the simple fact, Atlanta, take off the Migos, is a big, big, big part of Atlanta hip-hop culture, man. And, and if you really know anything about the music hip-hop industry, man, the Migos is really what put QC on the map. Quality control music, you know, with QCP and all them big boys down there, you know, they got the city girls and they got a little baby and stuff now. So they ain't really relying on the Migos like they was back in the day. But the Migos, man, you know, they single-handedly carry, you know, QC on their back for a lot of them years, you know, popping off for 2013, and, um, you know, for the years following. So um, they made a staple in hip-hop. They made their mark in hip-hop. <clears throat> And, and, you know, I, I, I salute them guys, man, because they changed the game. They changed the sound, and they changed the whole works with it all and the whole situation. So, uh, so I can see, you know, a lot of people respect them, man. They had a lot of pool in Atlanta, you know. They, they ran with some big dogs. Like I said, they had a lot of pull in Atlanta. So I could see, you know, some people being very upset and saying, hey, man, you know, um, they took one of our big dogs. Let's try to take something out of them, you know. So that's why when I first read it, like I said, man, you know, I could see something like that happening. But as more as I did some research and stuff, man, I really couldn't find too much more on the situation. I think it's just, you know, just more rumors that people are spreading because you got to understand, man, losing takeoff especially after the Migos was going through, you know what I mean? They already separated from Offset. It was basically Quavo and Takeoff. They were doing their own thing. And, um, you know, I, I feel like personally Takeoff was really on his 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 um, his his path to greatness. 
Takeoff was already great. He was already, you know, on Mount Rushmore with the Migos as far as rap groups go. He up there at the tippity top, if not the best. You know, he up there legendary. Bone Thugs and Harmony, legendary, stuff like that, man. So, you know, but on a on a solo level, on a personal level, I think he was just getting started and getting ready to take off and go to the top of that mountain. You know, I really think Takeoff was getting ready to take off. And I think, you know, a lot of people probably think the same way. He was a he was a lyricist, man. He he made you visualize his lyrics and his songs. And I think that's why a lot of people liked him. And that's why another why that's another such a a, a a major blow to the hip hop community, man, because we need more artists like that. We need more artists that can make you visualize their lyrics like a little baby, like a you know, like a little dirt or somebody on that magnitude of an artist, man. Take off. He was one of a kind, so you know, I can see why some of them Atlanta people, some of them big dogs really want to drop a bag on their head and get them knocked off, you know, for take that loss, for taking that loss, you know what I mean? So, uh, but nah, man, nah, I really don't, uh, me personally put my two cents in the situation. I think it's just a rumor. I don't think no bag is on, on nobody's head as far as, you know, getting Jazz Prince or Jay Prince Jr. or even Jay Prince himself knocked off. I think it's just a room where people, you know, uh, people just trying to, you know, say something. Getting, you know, this day and time, especially with social media, and especially with something this big of a, you know, status, this big of a magnitude of an event happening like this, people are gonna get out here and say anything, just try to get some views and some likes. You know what I mean? So, as far as I can see, I don't think this is no plausible information about any bag, any type of, you know, compensation. Be willing to be given out for any type of harm to be done to any of them, and, and even if it is, and they putting it on the internet, I man, they stupid as hell, and they might as well be put back. You know what I mean? Uh, but you know, uh, I do think, I do think they probably looking at Jay Prince in them a certain way, just for the simple fact is, when all the really truth comes out, and if Jay Prince and them people really do got something to do. With this whole situation, I know they looking at him like, man, why why ain't y'all give your man up? Why you let your man do this and then not give him up to us? You know what I'm saying? So it, it's, it's a very tricky situation right here. I just think everybody need to fall back until some more real facts come out and then, you know, move from there. But right now, there's a lot of speculation going on. There's a lot of nonsense, you know, floating around social media trying to paint a certain narrative uh, this way or that way. And I think it just all, you know, be confusing people and everybody just need to take a step back and wait till some official people come out with some official more news, guys. Hey, this is Mike Keys of the Carolina Grinder. Make sure y'all like and subscribe and hit that notification bell for future videos. We upload informational videos every day on this channel. You don't want to miss some game. 